I thought D'Angelo was uh, was fantastic tonight. Uh, Ten assists and the two turnovers he had, I, they were good passes. One T Black. I mean, I told him it's always the passer's fault. It's like it's always the quarterback's fault when it's a turnover. But the one he had, the both of turnovers, I thought were were good looks. They were plays that were going to lead to layups if we completed them, and they weren't that dangerous of passes. So. Uh, you know, 10 assists to go along with, with only those two turnovers. I thought he he was a huge uh, factor for our win tonight. Is it surprising that he's just now, or is his career high, that he's never had a 10 assist game? Is it somewhat surprising? Yeah, I would say, yeah. I mean, I haven't checked what his career stats are, but, uh, you know, the way he can see the floor and the way he can pass, I would assume he would have had 10 at some other point. Is he watching a lot of stuff? Like Uh, well, we encouraged uh, and and uh, encouraged him to be out there with us. So even if he wasn't playing, to be on the on on the sideline, uh, you know, Coach uh, Coach Mermis and him watch a ton of film together. Uh, that's kind of the guy. He shows him every single clip uh, that he plays, uh, and they go over it and they talk honestly about it. Um, but during that stretch, I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, you know, when you're injured, we're on to the next one. It's a dirty game here. We don't, you know, what can you do for us? Nothing. All right. Well, the assistants will deal with you then. Um, so I don't know how much film he was watching, but it was nice to have him back out there. How much credit do you give to D'Angelo's presence for everything you're talking about, about the ball movement and the style of play that he's running? A, a lot. Um, but it, it's not just him. I thought Lou, I told Lou afterwards, he trusted, uh, you know, Lou, who's a professional score. He's been that for years in this league and one of the best in our game at it. Came off a of pick and roll late. He'd already hit a couple buckets and trusted uh, the 19-year-old Zubak rolling down the lane and made the pass uh, that led to a bucket. And I, so I thought, you know, I thought there was multiple guys that that really played a part in, in, the, in the style that was fun to watch, fun to coach, fun for the fans. You probably didn't have fun because you don't ever have fun, but... Um, <laughs> Fun for most of us in the in the building. Um, and D'Angelo, I mean, obviously, I said before the game too, it helps when he hits shots. But the fact he's playing downhill and attacking and aggressive, um, I think, is also what leads us to playing like that. Uh, and then I think when you play that style, you get lost in the game, and then you're more likely to to knock down a couple. And he had he had some good looks he missed too, but uh, you know, those are ones we want him taking. I'm yeah. I'm very surprised that it's there. He's surprised me every step of the way so far. I remember we got him from summer league, and because of some international rule, he couldn't practice with us. So you know he was there every day, but couldn't practice. Didn't get cleared until the first game. And I was laughing with Jesse, Coach Mermis, who was head coach in the team. I said he's our draft pick. He starts and he plays a lot. And we were laughing because he looked overweight. We said he doesn't know any of the plays, any of the schemes, and he came out and was brilliant. He had blocked shots. He was, you know, making plays. Granted, it's summer league, but he just has a great feel for the game. And, uh, you know, he's got a good personality. I don't think he really lets – I don't know if he doesn't know how big of a picture it is that he's playing down the stretch for the L.A. Lakers at the age of 19. Um, but he doesn't ever get rattled. Even, you know, as coaches, we're constantly challenging different players and and uh, talking trash to some, especially the young ones. And he just he takes it all with a smile and uh, and fires back. And uh, you know he's he, he's it's impressive what he did. Uh, but I don't think it's only fair to talk about him tonight because I thought Timo was was really good. Uh, Timo did a great job for us. Uh, you know verticalities early, playing defense, talking defense, being the captain out there on the defensive end. Um, you know he had a he he had himself a a, a really good game for us. So uh, you know it's it's right to give him some love uh, for that center spot too.